And it is. And what a price that was paid. It was right with uh, what I want to be talking about today, by the way. Amen. Amen. It's good to see you this morning. I know we still have some folks that are traveling and still out. Still got some guests that are coming in with family and friends. Uh, Miller uh, have their clan in town all the way from Maryland, so we praise the Lord for them as well. Amen. However, you might want to do a little counseling with them while they're here. Uh, they're still wearing those Ravens emblems on their shirt. So we'd like to take a love offering for some Texans uh, paraphernalia before they leave the town. Amen. But we'll pray for them. All right. It's good to see you guys. Praise the Lord. It's good to see each and every one of you. I'm excited about what we're going to do with the Lord's Supper today, that we, we as, a, as a family come together and celebrate this. Each time we do, it's always a very special time as we reflect and remember all that the Lord Jesus has done for us. Remember at Believer's Fellowship, if you're a guest of ours today, we do not practice what is called closed communion. Some denominations and churches do that, which means to say, uh, even if you are a Christian, if you're not a member of that church, and you can't participate in the Lord's Supper with them. Or if you're not a part of their don denomination or abomination or whatever it is, then you can't participate in the Lord's Supper. We don't practice closed communion. Uh, it's an open communion for anybody who confesses that Jesus Christ is their own personal Lord and Savior. You're welcome in the latter part of the service when we share in the Lord's Supper to join that time in remembering the Lord with us and celebrating all that He's done for us. So we want to involve you and, and include you. Uh, I remember, you know, we do these pastor's conferences, and one of the things we do in many of the conferences is we have question and answer times. And um, I remember one of the pastors in Belize says, uh, uh, as, in fact, it's even come up in Bulgaria as well in some of the question and answer times, was, was the question, what if I have church members that I know really aren't serving the Lord and really aren't walking with God the way they should, uh, should I forbid them from taking the Lord's Supper? I said, well, there's nothing in Scripture that gives you that permission. It's, uh, it's what we call self-police in this regard. Uh, the Bible does give you the responsibility if they're really out of fellowship with God and becoming an embarrassment to the name and a shame to the name of Christ. That there's this thing we call church discipline. But if you've got people who are, you know, not in a church discipline kind of situation, but yet they're just not really being fully obedient.